One woman in Volvo started a pretzel company. It was so popular, her pretzels were soon sold across the country. But today, the Velva plant announced it will close its doors for good. Leading local tonight in our top story, KX News' Corbin Warnock has more from Velva. Dorothy Hankey started Dot's Pretzels out of her home in Velva. In 2021, she sold it to the Hershey Company. But today, we learned this company that bought Dot's Pretzels is closing the plant in Velva. With the plant being shut down, the mayor of Velva says, Here in a small town, they spend money on commerce, and with no jobs, how will they be able to do that? People in the community are affected, especially the employees. I'm, I'm a manager of four apartment buildings, and I have people from that work there, that work there, that live in the apartments and stuff. Of course, some of them have been pulling out because here a month ago, when they all got laid off, but uh, definitely makes a difference. Senior Manager of Communications Todd Scott of the Hershey Company says they are closing the plant down to increase productivity. Employees are given two options, either relocate to another Hershey's plant or take the severance package. Dots Pretzels is something Velva is known for, and the mayor doesn't want the Dots legacy to go to waste. I was just down in Deadwood, South Dakota this last spring, and you know they got the new pretzels down there before we saw them here in town, and just talking to local people down there, like, well, you're from Velva? And anytime you mention Velva, they're like, hey, isn't that where that Dots Pretzels is made? And I don't, I don't want our community to lose that. Monday they were here, and Tuesday they were gone. A few people I spoke to didn't even know they were closed. I mean, Dot worked really hard um, to, to you know, build that legacy, and I think we need to continue it some way, shape, or form to honor her and her legacy in town here. Reporting for KX News, I am Corbin Warnock. We reached out to the plant manager of Dot's Homestyle Pretzels, who declined to make a statement.